Hi everyone. So, I'm making a mod tutorial for you guys. This is a response to a comment that I got on one my on the one mod video I put up with the TNT mod. And uh, yeah, I'm just start. So I have mod loader, arrows mod, and two main items. And I have the Minecraft craft the dot Minecraft uh, folder. You guys go to in Windows 7, it's you type in percent percent app data right there, like uh, percent uh, app uh, data percent, and it comes up with roaming, and they click roaming, and you go to the dot Minecraft folder, which is this. So then you want to open up your bin folder, nothing else, just the bin folder. Go with open with Windows Archiver. It'll come up with this. Close that. And go off to the side. Now that's off to the side. You'll see Meta Infinite. This is a clean, clean one right here. Nothing, no mods in it whatsoever. So I will be installing these completely, not like people would do, where it's just they, it's them, they, it's them, where they've already installed it and they just pretend to do it. So everything is here. You can get these online by putting just just basically just the name. I might put some links in the description or annotations, but but maybe not. If I don't, you can just search up each one of these names. So first, you need mod loader. For for uh, too many items, you do not need mod loader. But I'm gonna install the arrows mod and test as well. So go here. Drag it all into the classes. No, none of these. Don't drag it into any folder because that will mess it up. So drag there and say OK. Click OK. It's gonna say there. It's done. So now that that is finished, it mod loader, mod loader is done with. So then I'm gonna delete that or exit out of that. And then here's the arrow mod. Select everything, including the arrows folder. If you leave out the arrows folder, then it won't will not work. Where there will be no picture for the arrows. So drag it all, drag it into the in the Minecraft file once again. Yes, I am replaced, and yep, there it is. Now exit out of that window again. I'm just doing. You don't have to, but I'm just doing it. But here it is, and then for too many items. Get this, drag it over to the class files. There it is. Click OK. And we are done. So I'm just gonna click all that, click all that, click all that, and I'm gonna leave the Minecraft Dodger because I might need to mod later. So I think we've about three minutes to do. If I didn't explain it all like that, that would probably take about a minute to do. So it's not a very time consuming process. So then you want to go open up Minecraft. Which one recording sometimes takes a little while. Or I have other things uh, open. But that's just uh, with my laptop. There, log in. Can be, if you install it correctly, it will be done loading. If you haven't, it will just freeze at the done loading sign. Uh, screen so you will know it won't go with this it's just black it's loading my computer is kind of laggy for some reason today but yep yeah. so I'm just gonna talk about my new mic it's not actually a new mic it's a older mic that I have now and hopefully the sound quality will be, will be a little bit better than my laptop but I don't know so while this loads you can see the lag there too. But hopefully this is gonna load in a little while. So I've been sitting here for like a minute just waiting for it to load, so hopefully it's will load. Actually well I'm gonna pause this recording and it'll be loaded. Okay guys, so I'm back and I realized that I forgot the most important step of this whole whole process. The one that people usually forget, the meta infinite file. I forgot to delete my jar file, so I forgot to, so I to delete this. So what you want to do is go to my infinite. Don't delete anything around it. Uh, right click on it. Go down to delete files. Click on it. Yes, I'm sure. 
This game's really good, and you are ready to play. So, uh, it opens up. It's here. And that's why it was not loading. Mod, I spelled that wrong. I'm gonna go to rename test. Testing. Mod testing. So I'm gonna test all my mods and my mod videos in this map. Actually, no, I'm not going to because. Oh, right. Uh, I want to do, do this. Go back. Go you know, around. Hopefully, it's not. Okay. It's gonna do a few adjustments. Music. Sound. Peaceful. Fans. Fast. Off. Here. New smooth laying off. Helps. Helps with it a little bit. No back. Okay. Considerably, wow. Considerably, wow. Considerably uh, less uh, laggy. Which is a good thing. Because it would just be glitching all over the place if, if, I, if, I, if I didn't do that. And no, I do not have a speech impediment. I just mess up my words sometimes. Especially ones with errors and stuff like that. So, there you go. So, here is the too many items mod. I'll get to the other ones in a second, but it's easier to use too many items mod with these mods, with the mod that I just showed you. The mod loader is needed to install the other mods except for this one. So, here's what you can do. Let's say I have all these items, and look, I can just place everything everywhere. It's so great. But then you want to delete everything, hold down, shift. Any shift, it doesn't matter which one, left or right. Hold down shift and press the wheel. Everything's gone. Now let's say you have all this stuff in there and it's like, look, I have all this gold, all this glass, all of these dispensers, everything. All its wool. And I kind of want to save it. So you go save. Then now I don't want all this stuff and I want to blow shit up with TNT. And then you go like that. And then you want to blow shit up with TNT. And then you want to blow stuff up with TNT. So there, I'm just blowing stuff up with TNT. But, and look, it's there. But now, what do I do? I don't want all this TNT in my inventory. Go to delete all. You don't have to do that. See, I can have all this stuff, and I can just go load, and it loads back. Look, I have gold door. And I'm built with it now. Look at me. Uh, amazing. I'm built it now. Uh, well, that's a good feature. Okay, delete all and delete that save. So you have everything in the game. Another cool feature with this one that I like to use is hold down shift, but instead of cl clicking delete all, click anything. I like to do this with gold and stuff because it looks the best. So let's say you want to have a gold adjustment. Okay, there. Now, holding down shift, actually, on that, show you first. So, uh, Wow, I messed it up again. I don't know how that happened. See. Sorry, everyone, for this very professional, very, very professional commentary I'm doing on this thing. That was my mother, and she brought me a banana, cheese, and crackers. Because that is just the best combination you can ever have with anything. So, chest plates. Look, it gives you for armor and you jump off of stuff and you lose it but and you lose some health too along with that but see how it's damaged watch this hold down shift click on it it's gonna be here click it in there and you have full armor and you don't lose health for example also while I'm on this hold down shift press any block that's not armor or tool and you get unlimited look it just refills it so watch armor armor look at that I haven't been damaged by that TNT at all that's, that's pretty good so now that I got that all whoa not bad now that I got that all out of the way there I'm gonna go you can also do it with food see for mushroom soup, which doesn't really work. 
golden apples. Yeah. Okay. So we can start with the arrows mod, which I'm gonna check on this video because I don't want to get too long like the other one that I made, which got deleted. Was 17 minutes. So not to make this one too too long. Like it comes with a home and bow, which just go to the form to make it because I'm just gonna test this out. You can get unlimited homing bows too, but I'm not gonna do that, that's useless. So first we're testing explosive arrows. Homing bow just tracks targets and goes straight to them. That wasn't not a very good example, but look, see the sheep? No, nope, straight up. See. It's very useful. So basically it just shoots TNT. One of my favorite uses for this mod is this. If you look now there is a straight, almost flat, variation of one or two blocks deep in this mountain. Like for example that mountain would be a lot better to use it in. But what you're gonna do? Doesn't matter. I s okay, I hit my mic there. That loud noise you most likely did hear. That was me hitting my mic with my hand by accident. See so look now you just you can keep them down here. And you have a huge cave system to explore. It's it's very useful. If I say so myself, it's one of the most useful things to do in this game. When you don't want mine a lot. See I'm um, jumping off of stuff and I nothing happens. So delete that. Delete that. That. Now the next one I'm gonna test. I'm gonna check again. So I'm averaging two minutes for each one of these. Maybe less. Okay. So fire arrows, ice arrows. Actually, I clicked the wrong one. Okay. So here it is. Maybe it doesn't work. on huh? right there. It just flows all that stuff. It freezes water. It acts as a normal arrow, basically. Basically, it acts as a normal arrow. Any other time, other than uh, almost any other time, it acts as a normal arrow. Usually, it does. So, other than all water, it acts as a normal arrow. Okay, delete all that. Uh, I'm just gonna delete all because it's easier. Home and bow. Now, for the fire arrow, which I don't particularly like, but. Basically, it lights, uh, light, lights stuff on fire, like that is now on fire. This tree is now on fire. I don't like that arrow that much. It's useful sometimes, but not really. Using that egg arrow here. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what you would expect it to do. Shoots eggs. And every time you shoot it, it spawns a take chicken as well. So now we have a massive orgy or that. A massive orgy of chickens right here. But it's, it's good for farms, I can assume. Now, one of these chickens. Now, if you don't want all these chickens, here's what you can do. I'm just going to delete all, but they're my favorite one lightning arrows. Oh, sh. Yeah. Okay, I should not have done that. Okay, now we can do it. There. The apocalypse. Well, the rapture, but if you want to call it, I don't care. So, there it is. All those chickens are all gone now. It basically just shoots lightning and stuff from the sky and lights stuff on fire. It does a, sh it does a ton of damage, I'm not gonna lie. It, it does 50 damage about, like it can deplete half my health. Like I'll show you without uh, that thing on. Okay, uh, yeah, I kind of messed up. It's full, again. There, it's not letting me kill myself. Well, great. Okay, uh, I think that's the end of my tutorial here.
a nice gameplay at the end I'm gonna end it now we've got 15 minutes almost exactly well hope you had a great time listening to me talk over this gameplay footage and hopefully you learned a lot about this mod and it's free to install just look it up or I'll have a link in the description